Welcome back. Today we learned just how weak my impact gun is. As you can see here, I was just having no luck with it at all, getting this single nut off the or bolt off the front of the rotor. Alright. Now I broke it free. My impact gun just could not do the trick with this tiny little compressor. Uh, it's really not a very good impact gun anyways. I did have to wedge a screwdriver in those gears back there. Hopefully that didn't hurt them. Uh, not that I don't have a spare set of gears if I did. Now, ratchet and get this puppy out. So apparently this uh, this outer cover is locked to the crank, but this gear back here is not, which is odd because that's how you crank the engine over. We'll see what's going on. Yeah, I've got a nice key in here. Next step is to get this off. <laughs> How do we get you off? I may need a, a puller. Alrighty then. Now let's see what will come off. Got a little hung up trying to get this thing off. Tried removing all those bolts. It just it doesn't pull off. You've actually got to get a special puller. It looks like the outer part of this pulley, or I don't know, this this drum is threaded right here. So if you thread in uh, a removal tool and then you run a bolt down the center of it, it's going to pull this thing right off. I don't have it. Harley um, has one. Interesting fact, the part number for the Harley tool in the factory service manual won't look up at their store. You call them up and they're like, oh, that doesn't look up to anything. What's it called? Well, it's called a rotor removal tool or, you know, anyways, an um, alternator rotor removal tool. Uh, and they look it up by name. And it's got a completely different freaking number, which is kind of frustrating, but whatever. So they want 120 bucks for it. Super frustrating. I pretty much only need to remove it so I can get this stupid balance shaft out, although it'll make doing the timing chain easier. So for now, I'm going to move on to the next couple of steps. One thing I, uh, I, I want to get the valve covers off, get the cams out. So first thing I want to do is remove the timing chain tensioner. So... I'm not sure what size this is. Oh, that's a 12 millimeter. How convenient. So, this is the tensioner right here. There's the chain, or the spring. Alright, so, that's the timing chain tensioner. Spring. Now we've got to pull this whole body off. Oh, that one's going to be a tight fit. Yeah, I can do it with one of these. Everything's coated in oil right now. Oh! Dry off my tools. This engine leaked probably about a, a quart, or at least a half a quart, out all over the bench. So, that's kind of frustrating. down the center of that. Toss it in there for now. There we 
we go. Now I'll just get this off. There we go. Hmm. Can't get it off when it's running into that. brilliant guys who designed this shit <laughs> all right so I guess that's as loose as I'm gonna get the timing chain tensioner <laughs> what a stupid design let's turn it around and do the other one here we go good enough Let's do that bolt in the middle. Let's do the bolt in the middle. There we go. Made sure to wear my gloves this time. Last time I thought I was just going to be in and out real quick and I wasn't going to get too greasy. And I totally did get too greasy. So, nice gloves ought to do the trick. Okay, will you come all the way up? Yes, it will. Okay. Uh, so I totally need to get that other one out to be able to redo the tensioner. I'm just gonna have to figure out how. Here's an interesting thing. See all these uh, black marks? <laughs> it's just uh, metal. The magnets have picked up out of the oil. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. <clears throat> There's that. Now it's all nice and clean inside. I managed to get both of the chain tensioners off the other side that I was having trouble with. You just have to reef real hard. You end up smacking your knuckles on things, but it came out. So have not found my eight millimeter to get this off yet though. So that's where we're at right now. So I was digging through my, uh, my old tools and I found two 10 millimeter sockets and a 10 millimeter wrench. Doesn't get any luckier day than that. So I'm having a lucky day. Found a 5 16th with a quarter inch adapter. That'll, that'll get the eight millimeters out. <sighs> Okay, there's the head. See, fins on this side. Yeah, the bottom fin stays with the head. But yeah, I could make a, a screwy looking engine with some black fins on top, but yeah, I'll just accept the silver life. Uh, it's got a reusable rubber gasket in the head, so I won't need to buy a new head gasket or valve cover gasket. So I'll put this over here without the bolts falling out of it. There's the rockers. They're manually adjustable roller rockers. Very nice. And four head bolts. Yep. Here's a timing chain. Let's do the other side now. Let's drop all my tools on the ground. I'm terribly organized here. which one of these pulleys is which because, uh, well, yeah, they seem to be interchangeable. Okay. 
Well, by 60 miles on the engine, it's not like this thing is seated into the, uh, yeah, it's become one with a pulley or anything. So there they are, both of them off. Check them in the covers there. I'm going to put these bolts back in for the time being. Next up, I need to figure out how to get these rockers out of here. There's apparently bolts that go through from here, so i got to take these covers off. Those look like tens, so those newfound 10 millimeter sockets that I've got. They've done their best to get lost in my toolbox already. These are not very tight, so remember that when I put them back in, don't over torque them. I've got a torque wrench that will go down to uh, five foot pounds I just picked up for this. So I'm going to use that for torquing things when I put it back together. Um, I need to loosen the, uh, the adjusters on here. Well, it's still got spark plugs in it. I should take the spark plugs out. I'll go ahead and do that before I go any further. That way when I need to rotate the engine, I'm not fighting compression. I'll just use needle nose pliers actually. Now I started pulling this one out. Wow, those are tiny spark plugs. Man, RG6HCC champions. Yeah. I think this engine has more than 60 miles on it. I don't know. Oh, come on. There we go. Yep. Let's see if I can show you what this looks like. So, yeah, they, uh, seems like more than 60 miles. Not that I'm complaining at this price, as long as the engine's good, and I don't see any problems. I'll look at the cams or anything like that up here. Now, if I want to rotate you so I'm off the lobes, well, no, I can just rotate the cams. I don't have to rotate the engine because the cams are now disconnected. It would be a bad idea to rotate the engine. All right. Try a 19. No, it's bigger than a 19. 13 sixteenths. Bigger than that. One inch. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller than one inch. 15 sixteenths. Yes, it is 15 sixteenths. And I was just saying this whole thing's metric. Isn't that great? I don't even know where the piston is right now. Alright, I'm just going to leave the cams where they're at. Because it was pretty near the arrow pointing up, so... Um, we just need to loosen these things. Where'd that 10 millimeter wrench go? Yes, it is 10 millimeter. Alright. This is my adjuster. That one too. Now, flathead screwdriver. I'm just going to back these off as much as it'll let me, really. There we go, that valve is free. That valve is free, too. And then the next two. was a little bit open as well. Okay, so the valves, both the valves were a little bit open. That was weird. I don't know what, what deal was with that. But there, maybe it's an overlap spot on the cam. Interesting.
that's all I have to do for the uh, rockers. I don't actually have to remove them, I guess. Um, yeah, this... It was sitting right between these two, so I guess that's just the overlap spot the cams. A little bit of wear on the cams. You can see that it's been rolling through there. We're going to try and get this pulley off now. There we go. Oh. oh. Why is it? It should be trying to go that way. It's going that way. I don't know why it's trying to turn the thing the other way though. Starting to turn. There we go. There's supposed to be a tool in, that goes in here and catches the teeth. But I don't have that tool, and I can't imagine what Harley wants to charge for. I'm not even going to bother calling after the last quote I got. Now, I'm just use my ratchet to get that rest of it out. My impact gun is pretty weak and crappy, so just couldn't do this. Should probably buy a better impact gun. There's that, and this pulls right off beautifully. Okay. Now this has got a white mark, and I made a little pencil mark on the. Uh, clutch in case it matters. I don't think it does, but I'll just put it back where it was. There's my timing chain. Cool. So there's two teeth on one side and one... There's... Okay. Let's cover this. So you'll see there are two, two spots, uh, or there's one black tooth here, and there's two black teeth here, and then this has got a... Uh, spot marked on it. So we're going to want to turn the crank to put that either at the one tooth or between the one tooth. Uh, I'll check it when I get there and we'll cover it again. Yeah. All right, I just bought this great big harmonic dampener puller from Harbor Freight. I'm going to see if I can get the, uh, well, this, this pulley off. So. Let's see what we've got here. Nope, way too small. This seems to be the biggest size it's got. It's about 5 8 or 16 millimeters. Nope. Oh, here's a 3 quarter inch. It's 
start. It's not quite three quarter inch, or at least it's not this thread pitch, but it, it th it's threaded in quite a bit actually. Hmm. Anything that's slightly larger. It's probably 19 millimeters what that is. And just yeah, three quarter inch, but I don't have 19 millimeter. All right, this is where I'm stuck at the moment. I really need to get this darn thing out. Um, it's got threads here, so I've determined that there it needs a 19 millimeter bolt to go in here. And it looks like I can catch that lip at the bottom. So if I have a long enough bolt, I can just thread it in. It'll push this whole thing out if I hold the engine still while I'm doing it. So. Uh, not something I can get at a local hardware store, certainly not in the United States where we don't do metric to begin with. Um, so once I can get this off, things are going to go quick. I can get this stupid balance shaft out that uh, just will not clear the ring gear. It's, so and I want that balance shaft out. Then I can put the, the cam chains back on, get everything lined up properly. That'll be great. And then I can move on to adjusting the lash, put the valve covers back on, and uh, pick up gaskets for th these these things, and uh, put it all back together. And then comes the heavy lifting part where I screw up my back. I mean, uh, put it back in the bike. So that'll be fun too. But uh, I'm probably gonna sit on this for a week or two because uh, I need to get that that big bolt. So, and Easter's coming up and stuff, so I won't be working on this much next weekend.